guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you're already subscribed. I don't know what that was, I'm trying to... <laughs> uh, I'm trying to change up my intro because, I don't know, it's gotten so boring and automatic. But, if you are new here, my name's Marn and I make all sorts of videos, make self-improvement videos. <laughs> I say as I literally go and say the automatic one. But yeah, I make self-improvement stuff, I do some pole dancing videos and I also like to do beauty videos. Just so you guys know, I'm really tired today and my makeup is really washed out because I've worn it all day and my hair used to be curly until I walked outside on the west coast of Norway. You know, shit happens. Shit happens, you know. So if I'm a little off today, it's because I'm tired. I actually feel like I might be more on because <laughs> now I like have to pump myself up. Today's video is going to be a how to prep for 2020 video. And as you've probably noticed, 2020 is probably going to be like I, tomorrow by the time you watch this. So I'm kind of posting this a bit late or filming it a bit late, but I've honestly been a little bit of a mess. For Christmas and I've been a little down not gonna lie I want to be honest and transparent with you guys so I haven't had too much time to like plan videos and yeah but now the past couple days like the past yesterday the past yesterday I have been feeling better you know I don't know I'd rather just be honest about that than like try to say that I've been fine because I've been a little bit of a myth what I want to say is that even if you're watching this and you're it's in January I feel like January is a good month to like even just use the whole month to prep for 2020 I mean even though you are in 2020 but prepping for the year like I'm gonna use January to I don't know just reflect upon like 2010 to 2020 because like I said I've been a bit down I feel like this month so not the whole month but and so in January I'm gonna spend a lot of time and make videos that are kind of like 2020 inspired I don't know I love this time of year I love a new year I love me a blank slate I love me some goals and some reflection so here we go sorry for the longest intro ever but hey if you are a subscriber you know I go off on tangents all the time also I have not addressed this makeup I know it might be a bit too much it's like very pink but I'm trying to have fun with makeup you know pun is a thing so for 2020 especially because we're entering a fucking new decade I really want to clear my slate you know I want to take the positives from the past decade as well as the past year reflect upon what I've learned what kind of people have I met what have I learned from those people just all sorts of things sorry I have notes here so if I look away from the camera that's why yeah I want to feel like I'm starting not with a completely clear slate but like kind of taking the lessons that I've learned from the past decade like I literally just said two seconds ago. So I've divided this video into three parts. Look at me being, that's four, <laughs> into three parts. Look at me being fucking organized, guys. The first step, or the f it's not even in order, but one of the steps, actually, yes, it is a fucking first step because this one kind of spins you into, it helps you with the other steps. So the first step is practical preparation for 2020. So this is a very physical way of getting that feeling of like, oh, you know, it's a clear slate. So this includes things like decluttering, both digital, uh, digi uh, uh, mm, uh, digital, digital, <laughs> both digitally, digitally, yes, da <laughs> God help me. Let's start again. So practical preparation includes things like digital declutter, physical declutter, and yeah, that's all. Yeah. It's all about decluttering. I don't know if I've talked about this on my channel, but I do love decluttering. I like a uh, space that I feel like it's clear. I feel like my mind's clearer if my space is clear. And so decluttering is really important. So what you might want to start with is the physical declutter because this is a very visual way of clearing your slate. So I use the Kamari me method most of the time, which is basically putting everything of one category out and then picking things up one by one and asking if they spark joy. I do that method, but I also ask the whole thing about, you know, do I use this? Especially when it comes to makeup. There's some products, like I, I've, I have this tendency to want to hold on to things because I want to not waste product, but there's certain things like like, I had this really dark self tanner that I don't like, it's patchy, and for some reason I've just hold, held on to it. Shit like that, just like get rid of it. I also have this perfume, this mini perfume, I got it with my Sephora points, and I never use it. It's kind of florally, I don't like it, so why do I have this here? It's kind of like unnecessary clutter that you really don't need, but that, I don't know, it's almost like, it's not that I'm a hoarder, but it's like almost like hoarder tendencies, like, I'm gonna get around to it someday, and it's like, no. 
No, be honest with yourself, you're never gonna get around to it. And it's just taking up space, and so get rid of these kind of things. What I do is I have a box, like a kind of a big box, and I just go through all my stuff, and I put things I don't want in there. If it's makeup, use makeup, I will throw it because I don't know. Just get rid of unnecessary stuff. I feel like it takes up space in your brain, your head, your brain, your head brain, your mind. It takes up space in your mind and there's something to be said about that. And this is actually, I mean, it doesn't have to be your first step, but I feel like this really helps you, you know, set the tone because it's a visual representation. And so the next thing you want to do is a digital declutter. And this is the one that I'm the worst at because like, if you've seen my fucking notes on my phone, I probably have like 200 notes. And they're all mixed up. That's one of the things you should declutter. Like your notes on your phone. The people you follow is a really important one. Like people you follow on Instagram. Go through all of them. Why do you follow these people? Do you need to follow them? Do they, what, what value do they bring to your life? Because if you're following people, say, just because they're pretty or, you know, something like that, that might not actually be bringing much to your life. Unless, like, you're trying to be a model or something or you take inspiration from their pictures. But if it's someone that you're following for, like, the wrong reasons, maybe it makes you feel insecure to look at these fucking perfect Instagram models. Kudos to you guys, like, no hate on the Instagram models, but like, that's a whole other topic. I actually did make a video about that once, but I didn't end up posting it because it was out of fucking focus the whole time. Ugh, that's so annoying, so I have to refilm that. I just haven't quite gotten over that, that whole thing. Anyways. So yeah, and that includes people you subscribe to on YouTube, it includes decluttering emails, files on your computers, and yes, even your hard drive, that your external hard drive that you just put everything on and just forget about, because I've been doing that for like four or five years now, and I have old school documents, I have to go for all that, and I get exhausted just by thinking about it. I don't know where that accent just came from, but it is important to do those things just to like completely like detox, digital detox. Well, that's not a digital detox. That would be being away from digital, digi, digimon. Anyways, sorry, I gotta stretch my foot. Look at my, look at my sock. It's like sloppy. It's like, <laughs> it should be my thumbnail. <laughs> just kidding. How to prepare for 2020. <laughs> oh my God, that could have looked really bad. It didn't happen. And then also within practical preparation is making sure that you're living in a space that inspires you. I know that I, yesterday, I started rearranging some pictures and hanging some pictures up that I haven't hung up yet since I got back from Canada. And just like unfinished projects around your room or around your home. I just have a room because I live with my parents right now. Finishing unfinished projects, like rearranging things, maybe even moving your room around or something like that. Oh, also something I think I'm gonna do is make a vision board. If you don't know what a vision board is, it's basically just kind of uh, visual representations of things you want to accomplish in life. So like your dreams, you could have like a picture of me literally just forgetting my dreams. <laughs> Yeah, something I also find inspiring is vi vision boards. Oh my god! Something I also find inspiring is twinkle lights. <laughs> and something I'm going to be doing now, actually, is I've printed out a bunch of comments from you guys, like positive ones, ones that really resonate with me. And I'm gonna put them all on this, like, thingy. What's it called? Just like a board and I'm gonna like paint. I don't know exactly what it's gonna look like right now, but I want to do that and hang it on my wall so you can hang po Why can't I fucking talk? It's like I keep pausing. So yeah, like uh, put positive things on your wall basically and that for me includes a board of comments I've gotten from you guys just to remind myself that I do make possibly a difference in people's lives and people do enjoy my content and basically that I matter to some people that I'm not just a piece of shit because sometimes our minds are like, you're a piece, you're of, a shit. piece of shit, and you have to be yeah. like, no, I'm not a fucking piece of shit. And that's just a reminder of that, so there's that. Okay, this video might be a little bit long, but the next the next section of this video is going to focus on mental preparation. This one is also really important, and I feel like the physical one is the best one to start with, so that you're prepared to mentally prepared. You're prepared to get prepared mentally. So I think it's essential to reflect upon the past before we're gonna go into the future, so you can't just be like, oh, fuck the past, so I'm just gonna fucking march into 2020 and fucking rock it. I mean, I guess you could, but then you probably repress some shit and fucking just end up having a total meltdown eventually 
really. I don't know, that's kind of how I think of it. So you want to ask yourself questions like what lessons have I learned? What kind of people have you met and what lessons have you learned from me meeting these people? What kind of people do you want to surround yourself with based off of the people that you met? And then you want to possibly list some clear-cut accomplishments that you've met. So things like for me, graduating the IB, getting my bachelor degrees, the fact that I started pole dancing and I learned a bunch of cool moves and I just I found my physical passion. Really clear cut accomplishments just to remind yourself that you do do shit sometimes and you do do well sometimes because sometimes you can forget that. I don't know. And you know, if you want, you may lay more focus on just the past year instead of like the past decade. It can be really daunting to reflect. Uh, uh, Sorry. <laughs> It can be really daunting to f oh. Should I even f be filming right now? It can be really daunting to reflect upon a whole decade, so you might want to lay a lot of focus on the past year. And I think a really important part of reflecting upon your past year or past decade is to forgive yourself for for like the pains you've endured, putting yourself in certain situations. If you're mad at yourself, like oh, you have to be able to forgive yourself to move on. Like I know that I something happened to me, like traumatic, something traumatic. I don't want to get into details, but and I can't help like the back of my head is like you put yourself in that yeah you put yourself in that situation. This is literally what my mind sounds like too. You put yourself in that situation and you know, basically, I don't know, it's just this cycle of guilt. Not only did this thing happen to me, but then I try to blame myself, you know, and it's- Where the fuck is my phone? I have these quotes on my phone that I really want to read. Is this filming? Yes. I better be fucking focused now. If I'm not focused, I am gonna have a little bit of a hissy fit. Where the fuck is it? Oh, there we go. So I found this post on Facebook the other day and I feel like this really reflects what I mean when it comes to moving on into a new year and like forgiving yourself for things that you've endured that, yeah, like I literally just said. So it says, to my younger self, I'm sorry you went through that. I'm sorry that you made choices that hurt you. I'm sorry that you believed that you were unworthy. I want you to know that you made the choices you did with the feelings and limited experience that you had at the time. You did your best with what you knew. Don't worry, I'm taking over now. A new chapter has begun. I promise you that I will look after us. We're in this together. I love you. Oh my god. Why am I such a sappy bitch? Oh. Uh. And then there was this other quote. I can't find it and I'm probably not going to be able to recreate it. But it went something like what happened happened. No, what happened happened because it couldn't have happened any other way or something like that. It's not the real quote, but it's this quote I actually heard. I watched Impulsive. It's a podcast and this guy had this quote and it's definitely not what I just said. But it's basically this idea that one of the reasons why we kind of regret things or we sit with guilt is because it's almost like we feel like it can still happen a different way or like that we can reconfigure the past but part of it, forgiveness forgiving yourself is accepting that it happened because it couldn't have happened any, any other that because it couldn't have happened any other way because it didn't it didn't happen any other way and so kind of just realizing that you can't change it and that you have no control over it and no matter how much you guilt yourself it's not going to change and so it's really not productive at all to guilt yourself over things that have happened if you've gone for trauma and whatever like i literally just said that you feel like you put yourself in a situation and so yeah basically forgive yourself if you're going to be able to excel in 2020 or 2020 to 2030. so the third step and this is probably going to be the last step it's kind of like the icing on the cake once you got all feel like you have a clear slate now you can like write on that slate or like start to project what is going to happen on this slate so this is the part where you start setting goals and i haven't gone through like i haven't really gotten to this part myself yet i mean i've started so some suggestions that i have for setting goals is to categorize them into three categories or questions. So the first one I have is what kind of mental health goals do you have? The second one is what success goals do you have? And the third one is what physical goals do you have? Just so you guys get some idea, I'm just gonna say what I've brainstormed already. I'm not completely done yet, but this is just some ideas that I've had with myself and my... We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. Future. <laughs> Yes, Marn. Future. <laughs> Good job. Good job, Marn. So with regards to mental health goals, I'm just going to read them, so sorry if I'm looking at my computer. So the first one I have is to see professional help, and this one's one that is probably, hopefully, going to happen next year. I am on some sort of wait list, I've gotten a referral, so I'm finally going to, you know, really sort things out in my mind, because uh, there's nothing wrong with seeking help. You know, it's not to say that, you know, I'm fucked up. I mean, maybe a little bit, but that's okay. Everyone's a little fucked up. The world fucks you up, okay? And it's like, it's okay to go see another human being to just listen. 
to you. And then my second one is to heal from past trauma. And this doesn't mean get completely over it. Healing is, you know, I'm never going to be the same from what's happened to me, but I really want to be able to move on. Not that I haven't moved on. I don't know. It's hard to explain. This is partly why I'm seeing professional help so that I can figure these things out. So yeah, kind of dealing with my trauma, healing from it, because right now I'm not doing too good on one of them. Um, and that's just the truth. And then third, be raw and honest about how I'm feeling or when I'm, when I'm feeling down, which is something I think I already kind of am good at, but not... I'm almost better at it with my camera than I am with people around me, because I don't want to be the sad person. I really don't want to be that sad person, and so a lot of the time I do want to just put on a mask and I don't even know how I feel myself, because I'm so much like, oh, I'll get over it, and like, I think a lot of people are, but I'm very much like, I try to be superhuman, or I try to be this, like, person that can do so much, I don't know, and I just, sometimes it leads to me kind Kind of ignoring my feelings and then it just bubbles up and then I have a total fucking meltdown like I had this Christmas. <laughs> um, that's, that's another story. <laughs> I want to, actually this is another point, I have to accept and realize that I can be both kind of sad and also happy at the same time or I can have a sad part of me as well as be the bubbly positive person and maybe that makes me a hypocrite that I have these parts of myself but I don't know. It's kind of accepting that I'm human and that I'm going to be down sometimes and I'm also gonna be up sometimes and that's just fucking life, okay? Okay. So, yeah, I, I should just go fast through these and then learn to say no and stand up for yourself is another one. Learn to relax and then forgive yourself more, which we kind of already talked about. And then what success goals do I have? Continue my education, continue and improve my YouTube channel and then help others live better lives is another one. Be more creative and underneath there is learn more about videography and photography. And then, sorry, I'm just going really fast because this video is getting really fucking long, okay? So <laughs> the next one is what physical goals do I have? Healing from my injury if you guys don't know if you're new here I have a shoulder injury and I might need surgery actually oh I never said that on this channel oops hi I might need surgery I'll make an update video about that eventually <laughs> and then training properly after my injury is healed also maybe start instructing pole dancing if you don't know my pole dance if you're new here yeah I think that's all I am so sorry if this video was a little bit it actually wasn't all over the place maybe a little bit but I was actually really structured are you guys fucking proud of me because I am um, we're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. But yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up or consider subscribing to my channel. It is totally free. And yeah, if you want to see more videos like this, want to see more of my face, <laughs> subscribe. Oh, fuck. I got to include a comment at the end. So, so comment of the day today is by Vivian P. She says, you made so many great points in this video. I've experienced something similar and your video helped me feel less alone, so thank you. I believe this was on my video where I talk about my stalker story. I could be wrong because I literally copied these comments and put them into a Word document, but I, I believe it was something like that. But either way, regardless of what video it was, I'm glad that my, me telling my story can help someone else with their life. That's kind of the point of this channel. So. I guess, bye guys! I hope you guys have a wonderful new year and remember it's never too late to start prepping for 2020 even if we're already in 2020, which it probably is going to be by the time you see this video because I'm late at uploading it. So yeah, I think that's all. Have a nice day, bye! Both digital, uh, digital, uh, uh, digital. <laughs> I don't know if I talked about the, this on the chat, on, ah? I yesterday, I know that I late, night! <laughs> maybe even moving maybe even moving your